Hello, everybody, and welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft OP Prison. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC for another episode of the insane series uh, here on the server. Today, we are going to be... Well, I've already spent a lot of tokens, okay? I'm, I'm just prefacing this video. I have spent a lot of tokens on doing what we're doing today, and hopefully, it's going to be worth it. But essentially, I have spent a lot of money, and uh, we're going to be upgrading our mortar today and seeing whether it's actually effective at high levels or whether it's not. So, if you guys are excited to see yet another thing that will help us while we're mining then make sure you do hit that like button now just a reminder we are doing a giveaway for the infinity rank which is the top rank on the server all you need to do to enter is go ahead like this video right now comment your username down in the comment section make sure you subscribe join my discord and then follow the final steps in the giveaway channel in there and then you'll be good to go yes guys as you can see from my token balance last episode we had about 900 q we've spent pretty much just over two uh 200 q today uh or over the past day i've pretty much spent my entire time doing this and trading for things like this um but essentially today we are going to be upgrading my mortar like i said now for those of you who aren't aware really what a mortar is um a couple of seasons ago we had cannons but now we got mortars now essentially this thing right here will randomly shoot into my mine and it will shoot in chance that are like completely disregarded in in regards to if i have it on my pickaxe or not so essentially it fires into my mine it makes a big hole and then activates a bunch of enchants and what this does is it, it like i said it can essentially proc enchants that we don't even have yet, which means enchants that are way more overpowered than what we should be able to currently get at our current level. So this is a kind of a game changing thing, depending on if we can get it to proc a lot. Now, I'm hoping with all the upgrades and stuff that we're going to be able to purchase today that uh, we'll be able to get it to proc a good few times in this video. So these are my purchases that I've made. Uh, we pretty much have these only like I, I spent 200 Q on literally just this, but I, I think I got some pretty good deals. I don't really know. I don't know really what the worth of everything was. I just know I wanted to do this today and uh, I know that I have the tokens. I can't really spend on anything else. So we may as well, right? Um, now we did actually, uh, we were online for a, a contraband all. This is the first time I've ever seen ultimate contrabands given away for free, but we'll go ahead and open them and see if we can maybe get ourselves a coupon or something, uh, which would be insane considering these were completely free. Literally all I was doing was being online. Um, yeah, we can't get anything crazy, but that's okay. Also, I'm pretty sure my mind changed since the last episode because I've just been doing a little bit of mining. I got a prestige up and I got some rank ups and stuff like that so yeah i i, I do i do a little bit of off off uh, off camera work here. <laughs> yes guys let's go ahead and apply our brand new uh our brand new upgrade so i'm going to go ahead and hopefully i can shift click these yes i can um let's apply all of those now i don't really know how far this is going to get me it's probably not actually going to get me that far at all but um what i'm hoping for is that we can at least upgrade the uh, uh at least upgrade the cannon or, or the mortar a couple of times here and hope that it becomes effective at some point so let's go here i'm going to upgrade this to level five i don't really know what the the max level of everything is but we're gonna go to five there um we'll try and go to five on everything i don't even know if that's possible oh we can't even because of our pickaxe level not being reached okay yeah we can literally only upgrade fire rate from this point um and that is the maximum upgrades that we can do so it's kind of good that we didn't really have too much because we uh, oh we could go one more on there there we go um we literally can't upgrade this past level eight and that is where we run out of barrels so that is perfect actually so we now have extra percentage of the fire rate which means this thing should proc a little more often we did also upgrade one level i think of the uh what what was it that you upgraded let's take a look uh, we upgraded one level of ammo quality we can't do a multiplier upgrade yet because we need pickaxe level 300 for that so uh, that's, you know, interesting to know. I'm glad that we know that now. But uh, yes, essentially that is what I can upgrade. So we should theoretically get better in chance now because it was starting to proc things that we got last episode like Wild Wither um, and things like that. So hopefully now when it does go off, it's going to start procking things that we just don't even have yet. So things like Cluster Bomb, things like Zeus, we don't have these in chance yet. So if it can proc those when it goes off, that'll be cool. So while I'm mining today, I'll watch out for that, uh, you know, that, that mortar going off and I'll let you guys know what happens when it does. Um, but in the meantime, we've got a couple of things that we need to check out today. I'm going to activate a pickaxe booster and a mana booster as well so that we're of course ranking up and earning everything at the fastest rate that we possibly can. Now one thing that I uh, almost forgot about this season other than the fact that it gave us the five pickaxe levels a little bit ago is that we actually do have the battle pass in the premium tier and I have been tearing it up without even realizing like we've been completing challenges without even like me like doing it on purpose. So what I want to do today is I want to take a look at some of the rewards that we can claim from that and uh, I, I would say that the battle pass if you guys are ever going to buy any 
anything from the start. I got a feeling that the battle pass is probably the most worthwhile thing to get. Um, just because it, it literally gives you your return. And when you hit level 54, I think it gives you a $10 coupon back, which is literally what it costs. So, um, yeah, it's it's uh, pro probably the, the most worth it thing available. So let's take a quick look at what we do have in our rewards section. We should have just a bunch of things in here. A lot of them are going to be crate keys that we don't necessarily need or want. Um, but for right now, we'll take it all because, uh, yeah, I, I mean, we may as well. Plus, I feel like we're, we're, we're due a huge crate key opening at some point here. Um, so we might have to do that very, very soon. I also have a bunch of rank keys. But yes, uh, we are getting good amounts of contrabands and stuff. I think it's uh, what we're really working towards here is level 54. Two battle crates, $10 gift card. That's kind of where we want to be. So let's see if there's any easy challenges that we can get nicely completed today. Um, we can do the slash cells command. That's a, that's an easy, easy one. There's literally just a command and it will do it whether we're in a cell or not. So that's perfect. Uh, that's an easy completion right there. Um, we've listed that on the AH. Which ones in here aren't completed? Uh, we do not yet have the chatter box. I I'm so bad at the freaking chat reactions in game. It's actually terrible. All right. Um, all the easy ones are completed in there. Let's take a look in here. See if there's any easy ones. Okay. No easy ones in week two. What about week three? What do we have here? Uh, slash tutorial command. Sure. I'll, I'll run it because we may as well. There we go. That should. Oh, I didn't even didn't. It didn't even uh, tear me up. That's that's unfortunate. Yeah, there's a lot of ones that we can't really do right now. So I think we're, we're pretty much up to date on all the challenges that we can do. Um, now, one thing that we could do is actually start voting because I think most of the weeks require 20 votes. But what I might do is wait until another couple of weeks come out so that we can kind of get all of those done at once because then that'll be one big kind of group tier up that we can do now is there still daily quests on it i thought i thought that oh there are daily quests okay what do we got in here um we must do oh, okay yeah i mean we should i guess we can vote to try and get that but destroying 50k blocks we should probably be able to do that in just today i don't know we'll have to see yeah obviously that's just a good thing for you guys to earn a lot of rewards it does really really help out especially early season i feel like right now is probably a little bit of a later time for me to have like looked into it because i feel like the rewards don't necessarily help me too much or as much as they could have done like prior but that, that's okay like it's still it's still helping we'll still take it it's uh still progress and again we're, we're we're really looking for that tier 54 on that so i'll continue working on that throughout the week Ooh, we're getting a good few skin boxes here um we don't really need the eye skin but i guess i'll take it i don't think we can yeah we can't open that one quite yet so that's fine um i guess what we should do is let's do a little drill run here since we have got our pet active we got our uh, everything else active we might as well use the drills that we've got get all the prestige that we can possibly get right now with all the boosts that we're getting this should at least get me the uh the next prestige prestige 18 and then we can actually use a skill point because it requires about two skill points uh for the th for like my next upgrade so uh yeah this should get me there though eat well it should easily get me there it should theoretically get me past there but let's do slash prestige and make sure we're in here ready there we go 100 and that will continue to go that is perfect so what i might actually do is we should have in here a bunch of mythical keys because i've been on like i said for a bunch of keels and what these give is actually the drills so uh we should be able to get a good few of these let's uh salvage everything in here i'm gonna get as many drills as i possibly can and uh then we'll be good actually you know what i'm, I'm gonna leave it there because i actually want to do a full video on that because that is literally the fastest way to prestige and i feel like i feel like that deserves its own uh deserves its own episode there so we will we'll use the 19 that we have and uh we'll probably get up another prestige i'd say to prestige 19 i i, I hope at least I, th I think we can get to prestige 19 from that we should be able to um, but also while we're waiting for that let's go ahead and use our skill token we are going to get a frozen gorge gems boost sure we'll take it we will take it all right prestige coming in thick and fast here we go this will take me up to prestige in 19 there we go all right cool we'll leave that going for a second and then we actually need to go to spawn and claim all the stuff that we've gained from our robots overnight cool that is done let's do it let's go to spawn so this should give me enough for a good few upgrades on some uh for on some gem enchants maybe even i don't even know do we even have crystal enchants available i don't even know um 154 million gems there we'll take that and 23k crystals let's take a look at what we can upgrade with that we could get 20 levels on black hole but i've been told the black hole is not a very good one so maybe we'll leave that out for now um we get 152 levels of whisper i think that's just what we're going to do we're going to go 100 we're going to go one two three four five to keep it even 650 that is a good level to have on that we'll take it are we looking at anything oh we are still yes we need to max out wild wither of course we do um and then we're only got one enchant left on the uh, on the crystal so that's pretty cool we don't 
unlock that until pickaxe level 250 though so we've got a little while to go with that so i'm gonna get to mining and hope that we can uh, essentially get our our little proc that we're waiting for from uh, from this mortar thingy right here um also let's set our player miner off he may as well be going getting us the extra rank ups here and there wherever it can what are we getting there tokens not a lot of them either <laughs> not not a lot that even makes a dent in my balance right now which is insane but you know we'll take it um so yes i'm gonna wait for a uh, a little mortar proc here because it should well it shouldn't take too long to come but i do want to see what enchants it procs oh here it goes it's going off right now let's take a look what does it proc hero's entrance quiver and frozen gorge all enchants that i think i actually already do have so i don't really know if that upgrade uh did much for me um if, if we're being honest do we have fro we do have frozen gorge right it's yeah frozen gorge is right there what was the other one hero's entrance and quiver do we have hero's entrance i'm pretty sure we do right yeah it's right there so we do already have all those enchants so i would uh i i do want to know does it actually will it actually proc anything that we don't already have at this level i feel like it should but i don't know maybe maybe those are in the uh upcoming levels good sign though that it procs already because i've only been mining for literally like two minutes so if that's going to be the updated proc rate of uh of, of how quickly that's going to proc all the time then that is a, a a huge upgrade to where we were at before really oh another skin box we'll take that we get a reaper skin so that's the skin we're currently using but uh i don't even think the reaper skin's gone off yet and we activated that or we added that one yesterday and i've done a decent amount a decent bit of mining since then so yeah I, I i guess the uh proc chance on the skins aren't great i think one of the things that i wish the most about akuma is that these uh, pouches scaled appropriately because at the start of the season they're like insanely op and they help you out so much and then you get to this point it's like they don't really even dent anything i mean i guess they help with a couple of gems here and there but you know what i wish they do I, I don't know i wish at this point that they were like five times better at least if, if not 10 to be honest uh than they currently are because when this one unlocks you know i've been mining it for a while 14 thousand blocks you think oh that's gonna be pretty overpowered and unfortunately not it's 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 not the best so uh <laughs> that's my that's my one wish i wish they scaled better on these uh can we open it yet nearly nearly 200 more blocks and we can open that and i can prove my point but it definitely gives you like nothing regards to tokens which is unfortunate but yeah the start definitely use those they're insane all right unlocks there we go what do we get we got 2.24 million gems and 80 trill yeah the 80 trill don't doesn't really go too far at this point of the season but that's okay <laughs> my lottery is going ham with this mana booster right now it's uh it's gone off quite a few times actually we're up to 213 now which is absolutely huge in regards to pickaxe level we don't get our next uh our next enchant until 225 though i think we get uh i think do, do we get one here as well no we don't okay wow we're really done for gem enchants for a while i guess that's because it's going to be so expensive to upgrade them that's fair enough though um but yeah we, we, we're we're getting there we're getting there with things now unfortunately the mortar doesn't seem to have kept up with its original proc chances as in like it's not going off every two minutes like it started to do uh which is unfortunate but i'm glad that we got to at least see it one time i would imagine that there are other and better enchants that it can give us now that we've upgraded it um it, it, it seems like those enchants that it procs with that one first time was pretty much exactly the same as the ones that it was procking um last time so i'd like to think that there are other ones in that pool of enchants that we can get but i guess only time will tell i guess over the next couple of episodes as we're mining or as i'm mining off camera i'll kind of be able to tell as well and update you guys but yeah for right now i mean i guess it did give the top top or like higher tier of enchants before it was giving like some of the some of the worst ones so yeah i'm kind of glad that at least it's given decent ones now but yes i think that that upgrade is is kind of worth it but i would like to see where we can uh, upgrade it any further but guys that is where i'm going to go ahead and end off this episode if you have enjoyed it make sure you do go ahead smash that like button for me it would be much appreciated of course if you're not subscribed to the channel as well by now then please make sure you do click that subscribe button but that is gonna be it for me today i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next episode of op prisons here on akuma mc <laughs>